Hello again. This is math uh, for spring 2021 coming to you from the College of DuPage. And the title of this lecture is Home Stretch Encouragement. Please be attentive while watching this video. Robert Frost is one of my favorite poets and I'm going to share one of my favorite poems of his uh, with you. The real context for the writing of the poem is described here. Uh, Frost wrote this poem in June of uh, 1922 at his house in Vermont. He'd been up the entire night writing the long poem, New Hampshire, and had finally finished when he realized that morning had come. He went out to view the sunrise, something I love to do, and suddenly got the idea for stopping by woods on a snowy evening. He wrote the new poem about the snowy evening and the little horse as if I had a hallucination in a, just a few minutes without strain. May your hard efforts yield such noble fruit. The context of the poem is, um, in olden times, a fellow had worked very hard all day, and his last um, task of the day was to go fetch firewood to keep his house warm during a cold, dark winter evening. He was tired. He was bone tired. But he had picked up the wood, and he is on his way home late in the evening. And the poem is entitled, Stopping by Woods on a Snow Evening. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near, between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. He gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there's some mistake. The only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lovely, dark and deep. But I have promises to keep, and miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. You see, we too have promises to keep. In closing, you can do this. Finish strong. Now more than ever, time is precious. Each day must count. Do the math, it will make you strong. And now more than ever, take care of yourself and of each other. We are all in this together. May God bless you all. Take care.